worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello, welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio We are sent by God with a message from heaven and anointing to destroy all yokes, lift all burdens in the life of all listeners. It comes to you daily. He said, give us this day our daily bread. God sent this daily to break all yokes, connect you with help for salvation, for establishment, for divine connection, and every good thing that you may desire in life. All good and perfect things. The Bible says they come from above, from God with whom there is no variableness, nor shadow of turning. Listen to these ministrations on a daily basis at this time on this radio station and invite your family members, friends and neighbors to also tune in. We start with faith confession, confessing what God's word says about us to us. Join us in this confession. What you confess is what heaven allows you to possess. If you can be as loud as we are, where you are, please be that loud. If not, still be loud enough depending on your situation. A closed mouth and a closed heart will lead to a closed destiny. That will not be your portion. Take this confession with us. Say with me, O oh Lord my God, oh Lord, my God. I, present I present myself before you. You are my God. You are my maker. You are my, you are my savior. You are, my savior. You, are you are the reason I'm alive. You have protected me. You have preserved me. So I confess, higher, higher I will go. I will never come down. I lift up my eyes unto the hills. From whence cometh my head? My head turns from God Almighty. As I look up to you today, let my heavens open. Let the showers of blessings come. All mountains before me. Whatever is out to stop me, by your Holy Ghost fire, clear them out of my sight. I command my ministry angels, go all out before me. Make my path straight. My battle angels, fight my battles. My ministry angels, go all out. Let my provision be ready. I will, I will not fail. I will not, fail. I will not come down. Will not come Greater down. is he who is in me than he that is in the world. I will not miss any opportunity. Every door before me must start opening now. Doors to help. Doors of assistance. Doors of favor. Doors to resources. Doors to money. Doors to promotion. Start opening now. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Everybody that comes to know me will see Jesus in me. I believe it. I confess it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Say a big amen. Wow. You will not just be making confession. You will be seeing the manifestation of the wonders of God. From faith confession to Bible consumption. Yes. We eat the word of God. Yes, God's word is food, spiritual food. Feed your spirit to direct your soul and the body. Man is a tripartite being. It's a trinity make it consisting of spirit, soul, and body. The spirit directs the soul and the body. Tragically and unfortunately, human beings feed the body and energize the soul, leaving the spirit dead. When it is the spirit, that ought to direct the entire body, the other two. The Spirit's food is God's word, which we daily share here. That is why Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, and Luke chapter 4, verse 4, they both say the same thing. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word which proceeds from the mouth of God. That's what we have for you here. Receive it daily to build up your life. The spiritual controls the physical. We are currently talking on how life works. There is a way God designed and made life to work. He is the creator, very deliberate, meticulous, and intentional. God is an architect, 
a designer if we understand and follow his design or pattern in different areas of our lives we will live a colorful interesting exciting resourceful and impactful life in all areas of our lives in marriage in raising our children building a career in starting and running a business venture in investment in social relationship in kingdom work and serving god in financial matter in community relationship in joining a church maintaining our good health and managing all the challenges of life if we understand how it works i tell you it will be a walkover if any aspect of my listeners life is not working the reason is that the person did not get it right if the foundation has problem then what can the righteous do one word for all this is ignorance lack of knowledge ignorance in that particular sphere of life knowledge is power we started learning and talking about friendship from monday we started saying uh, what friendship can do and i'm going to be on that throughout this week having friends relating with people is critical and crucial is an a crucial part of our lives you cannot do without friends no one can succeed alone but the challenge is how do you pick friends that will be asset rather than liabilities friends you can trust no not not the one that will betray you friendship here includes even your spouse the man and the woman you marry marriage is supposed to add value to everyone's life but it has devastated many people's lives many are forever regretting the day they met and married the person they married we are supposed to marry our friends then business partners business friends career colleagues co-workers members of staff in the same office you cannot run away from people the same community you can not run away co-tenants co-sellers no one can achieve anything meaningful in life without friendship without some friends or associate around i have quoted a lot of bible passages to buttress this truth the first assignment jesus christ did when he started his public ministry was to uh, raise a team of 12 disciples peter james john and others they were his closest friends yesterday i spoke on how to know a good person to be the relationship with we saw it in amos chapter 3 verse 3 he says can two work together except they be in agreement except they flow and except they are on the same page so to say a good friend is someone that connects to your vision that adds value to your life today let's learn from david and jonathan in the bible david and jonathan were good are good examples of how to choose a good friend and what good friendship can achieve this their story is in first samuel chapter 18 from verse 1. let me read that verse listen listen when uh, he has made an end of it end of speaking unto saul that the soul of jonathan was knit with the soul of david and jonathan loved him as his own soul wow i wish i have all the time to make exposition on this chapter uh, it is deep it is deep jonathan was the son of king saul who should occupy saul's throne after his demise but meanwhile god has rejected king saul uh, as king and had gotten David anointed ready by Samuel to replace Saul. Saul knew it. Jonathan, his son, also knew it. Saul from then was planning to kill David to preserve the throne for his son Jonathan. Ah, but meanwhile, Jonathan and David were friends. What should we expect naturally? Jonathan should also be thinking of how to get rid of David so that nobody contests the kingship stool with him. But no, instead, God put David's love on his heart. I prophesy to somebody's life, God will put your love in the heart of those that will be destiny helpers to you. Now, instead of Jonathan looking for David's downfall, no, he told him 
Instead, he told David all his father's plan to kill David and taught him how to avoid being killed. What a friend. He loved David as his own soul. Now, that is one good example of what friendship should be. You are going to pray today. God, let me meet my Jonathan. Lord, direct my Jonathan to me. Direct me to my Jonathan. Direct my children to their Jonathan. Direct my uh, Jonathan to my children in business, in career, even in marriage, in different areas of life. All your children abroad. Except God raises a friend. The devil uses people to kill people. But God also raises people to be able to help people. You need a Jonathan. You need somebody that will love you as his own soul in that marketplace, in that industry, wherever you are, whatever you do. You need a Jonathan. You need a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Jesus is our perfect example. We are still coming to Jesus, but we are looking into the scripture. Example of good friendship and the benefit derivable from it. Lay your hand on yourself and let me pray for you. I ask that the Lord God will send good people to your life, good people to your business, good people to your environment, good people to your children's life. All bad people around you will go. Betrayers and those that will set trap for you, enemies appearing as friends, God will expose them and remove them from your life, but connect you to your Jonathan that will love you as his own soul and give you benefit to rise. Say, Amen, I receive it. We are going to build on this tomorrow, how to identify good friends. Friendship, association, and relationship, they are crucial in life and in destiny. Now, next to word ministration is testimony. Listen to these testimonies. Good morning, church. My name is Chidima. I want to testify concerning my business. My business turned five years, so I wow. celebrated five years anniversary. Yes. And I don't know that when I started um, Tripped, which is known as Okrika, I don't know that they used to supply people. Hmm. I now supply people at Lekki, Abuja. Hmm. They post on Instagram. People follow me on WhatsApp. Hmm. I don't rest. My phone doesn't hmm. even rest. Hmm. I'm always busy, even hmm. at midnight. Mm -hmm. Then I want to testify concerning when Daddy said, if your eyes is paining you, that you should put water, the mm -hmm. prayer water, five mm -hmm. nights. That's After right. putting it, everything vanished. That's and right. I pray that affliction will not rise the second. Hallelujah. God bless you. I'm Dr. Nokoya. Um, two weeks ago, let me just cut it short. Last year, uh, I've been applying for my visa. Last year, I got American visa five years. Yeah. <laughs> Then this year, I said, okay, before I travel, let me just a a apply for my Canadian visa. Mm. I applied in, and I've been praying, nothing came. I said, God, I came here two weeks ago. Mm. I said, God, I want this visa to be out. And to my surprise, yes. it came in June. Huh. And I was given 10 years. That's right. <laughs> 10 years temporary stay in Canada. So oh, bless you. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Mrs. Suju Ike Chuku. Oh, I want to say thank you, Lord, for rescuing my son who fell inside Kana, a wow. tunnel. And um, God just was so amazing to put the right people there right people. to rescue him. Wow. And I was a year older yesterday. It Amen. was a lot of gifts, gifts, <laughs> gifts. I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There will be no money in anyone's family. My name is Mercy Godwin. I want to thank God for what God has done in my family since I joined this family. Since I joined. God has been merciful. Yes. Will never visit me and my family. Will never visit hospital and my business. I've been having connection. Huh. People have been ordering wig from outside the country, uh. and people have been patronizing me. God has been so faithful in my family and faithful God and everything in my family. I thank God for all God has done. That faithfulness of God will continue in your family. My name is Oshinaike Olusegun. 
actually I have been seeing this ministry for over 15 years. Wow. And I have a friend in this uh, ministry as a as an usher. Actually, I was a businessman. I had a problem, my children education, my business on 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 the note of that I lost my wife. Then I have a friend of mine is in the church now. He come to me, he pray with me, he encouraged me to come to this church. And to my surprise, mm. he said, come to the church, you will see marvelous things. He called me one week, I failed. The next week, he was tracking me on phone. Okay, I said, okay, next week I will come. He said, okay, before you go home, wait for me. When he left this place, he came to my place at Ikeja because I was just, I was uh, depressed. He said, my friend, never be depressed. He said, I want to pray for you. Bring your hand out. He brings his, he bring my hand out. He anointed my, my hand. He put his mantle, he put his own mantle on my head. He prayed for me. And to my surprise, he said, I know you need money. I said, my children education are uh, in jeopardy. I don't know. So he now brought a money, just 200 naira, that he said he has been praying for. He gave me the money. He said, with faith, the faith shall set me free. He said, did I have faith? I said, yes. He gave me the money. He put the, uh, the mantle on my head. Then he prayed for me. Mm -hmm. Then he asked me to save that 200 naira on my account. I was looking at him. I said, what do I say? He said, with faith, things shall turn around for me. Okay, I had no money on me. I had to take that money from me, under the bridge, down to Adeni Jones Echo Bank. To my surprise, after putting the 200 naira there, the second day, mm. my life turned around. Hey, hey. I started seeing testimony and a lot on a lot for me lot. to project my children's education. That's so right. I give glory unto God That's in the hallelujah. name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Say to your neighbor, these things are working. Say, faith is working. Did you see that drama there? Take this 200 naira, anoint the hand, put it in the bank, and everything turned around. Only God can do that. My name is Rosalie Aredo. I want to give thanks to God and to our Father in the Lord for what God has done in the life of my daughter. I think when matters, uh, things are so difficult, mm. so serious, it hurts why? They will refer them to whether UK, whatever, that's for my daughter is there. So he's, to, he's very ripe for marriage. I'll be watching this program too online. Yeah, so he got married, then later followed by the fruit of the womb. So when it is three months, on Saturday that we always watch our uh, Holy Communion and mm. service. Uh, as we are about to start, he just called me. I saw the international, international number. I said, who is speaking? He called her name. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Your daughter, make sure that now the ambulance has come to carry her. That the baby, she's having pain, that the baby want to drop down. I said, no. I am with prayer. I mm. carried a mantle. I carried everything mm. with that program. I prayed that. I said, that baby will not come down. Mm. That baby will not come down. We started praying any time that we are online with daddy. I will be praying that that baby must complete nine months. Uh, on the 30th of May, yes. my daughter delivered a bouncy baby. Uh -huh. yeah. Hallelujah. Evil will not happen to anyone. Wow, you will not just be receiving testimonies, you too will be having testimonies. We are now receiving voice note testimonies on WhatsApp. Record your testimony. Changes you have seen in your life as you connected to this platform, our various platform, Prayer Mountain on Thursdays, you had my daily ministration on your WhatsApp and on your Telegram, and these live broadcasts on Mondays and Fridays, and all the other ministrations. Where have you seen the hand of God what changes, what open doors, what healing, what deliverances. When you give the testimony, the enemy will not be able to see the miracle again. When you give the testimony, then you allow God to do more, and it is easy. Go open your WhatsApp and record your testimony. Just one minute testimony, one minute or thereabout. Take the phone to where you can speak as loudly as I'm speaking now. 
with no background noise. Some people will be speaking as if they are speaking to themselves. No, speak, record it as if you are before a thousand people and raise your voice. Introduce yourself and say, my name is so, 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 to authenticate the testimony and put the phone close to your mouth and let there be excitement in your voice as you give your testimony. Then send it to our number, 80 777 080-55-83-777. Do so now. Let the world hear your testimony so that God will do more for you. Is today your bad day? You are one of our celebrants today. Let me pray for you. Put your hand on your body. I pronounce you blessed. Your bad day is blessed. Your new age is blessed also. God will raise helpers. You will live your whole life. No power will cut you short. You will live to be very, very old. Say amen. I receive it. Have you connected to our social media platforms? What you hear on radio is one off. But what we send to your WhatsApp and to your Telegram and to your social media is there. Turn to it again and again. He said, once has he spoken, twice have I heard. Now I send a 12 minutes daily devotional full of inspiration, of exciting, of impactful messages, prayers from my soul with the anointing upon my life, blessing people, connecting them to destiny helpers, opening their doors and their heavens. You will love it. Many people have connected and they are now being blessed and sending it to their people. And it is easy. Search for The Real Femi Emmanuel on your social media platforms. The Real Femi Emmanuel. The word real is R-E-A-L. R-E-A-L. Search for The Real Femi Emmanuel on Facebook. Like and follow. Real Femi Emmanuel on Instagram. Follow. Real Femi Emmanuel on TikTok. Follow and like. Real Femi Emmanuel on YouTube. Subscribe and turn on notification. Do so now. And if you are finding it difficult to do, to get the link, send an SMS, a chat, or a call to this number and say, I don't want to be missing Pastor Femi Emmanuel's early morning blessing on people. It will be sent to reach your phone 12 midnight. So whenever you wake up, it's there waiting for you. 0805 804 It will help you with the link and you start receiving us. Now, join us on our live broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram every Monday and Friday. Join Femi Emmanuel on live broadcast on Facebook. And it is also the same way just search for the Real Femi Emmanuel. Real Femi Emmanuel on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Mondays and Fridays, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Nigeria time. Just before you retire to bed, it will reach you and you will be blessed. I invite all my esteemed listeners to the two sun, any of the two Sunday services holding this Sunday at Dominion City. That is the church that I have grace to pastor. What a church, what a people, what a God, what an anointing, what an environment. It will totally transform you. If you are in and around the battle, outside the battle, outside of your state, people come from outside of your state every Sunday. Come, two services, 7 to 9 a.m. for service, 9 to 11 a.m. second service, two, two hours. Our services are short, short services, but loaded and anointed. This Sunday is communion service. Communion is the uh, eating, the broken body, and the blood of Jesus, symbolically, prophetically. Come and take part of this sacrament. Connect your healing. You want healing? You want open doors? You want divine blessings? You want divine connection? You want open heaven? You want a turn around? All that you desire in your life, your family, your finances, your health, come and connect it to this sacrament, the body and the blood of Jesus. This Sunday, in any of the two services, Domino City is at Aduloju bus stop, along the old road, or your express road, Ibadan. Bring your kids, your children. We will use Proverbs 22 verses to nurture them. They will become great children for you. Bring your sons and daughters, 8, 13 to 19. We have a wonderful setting for teenagers and we produce for you geniuses. Oh, come with your car. Ample car park and protection. Oh, come in commercial vehicles. We position buses, coastal buses, 
at Living Spring Chapel, Shango Ibado, and Poplar Petrol Station, Iwo Road, to bring people to and fro in the two services. You will only pay a token. Be there, it will change you. Oh, come and see what Sunday service look like in Dominion City. Don't miss the communion. Communion for dominion. Dominion over everything. I invite all residents of Timidire Estate, Samba Moraya Hotel area, Olong Tedo Estate, Jackon area, Adulogu Community, Iano Bodija, Ori of First Street, Alagbanu Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajola Po Kajola, Adao Community, Agbowo Express, Bashorun, Orogun, Major Salau, Ashi, Bodija, MFM Bus Stop area, General Gas area, Akobo area, Akala Way, and University of Ibadan community. You are all close to Dominion City. Some of you is a trackable distance, one drop, drive for 15 minutes, walk for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you are there. Come from everywhere, all roads lead to Dominion City this Sunday. In any of the two services, communion for Dominion. Don't miss it. Tie the next level of your life, the next desire, your concern. Turn it to that communion element. It works wonders. I'll be waiting for you. I'm personally available to receive you, give you the communion, bless you, anoint you, shake you, hug you, and the grace of God on me will light on you, connect to your own grace, and make you greater. What is left now is the prophetic blessing for the day. Receive it. This commission is a global one. This commission is a global commission. They are watching us from India. They are watching us in US. They are connected to this service in UK. You are under a global anointing. You cannot be local. You become like the anointing you are connected to. You become like the anointing you are connected to. This is a global anointing. Your name will be announced all over the world. Your children name will be announced all over the world. Dr. Okoje Weala is from Nigeria. Is seated on the global platform. That woman is speaking, the whole world is listening. Receive that same anointing. Receive that same grace. Your son and your daughter, receive that same grace. Your sibling, your husband, your wife, receive that same grace. You are blessed forever. Last October, I was in Florida and we're doing a TPGF conference. Three or four weeks ago, I was uh, in United Kingdom, and we are doing TPJ conference. In October, we are going to Houston, doing TPJ. This is a global ministry. I cannot be up and you are down. I pull you up by force. With the anointing on me, I pull you up by force. Every limitation is broken. I, I don't know book. I don't go to school. I don't have money. What would I do? You know Jesus. You will know the whole world. You are blessed forever. In Jesus' name. Lift up your hand and give glory to Jesus. Oh, it is done. 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 Your testimony will come. In Jesus' name. Wow. You will not just be hearing these things. You will be manifesting them. Tell me, Manuel is my name. We will build more on this tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.